Hi everybody, so we're continuing on with our mass overview of the redox titrations and this is on the sodium thiosulfate one. Um, again, we're only going to focus in on what formulas we're using and when we're using them opposed to actually doing the mouse um, properly. And you can use the conic flask, the massive chemistry section to figure out, to see the workings out completely. So we're only going to focus in on D over here. And the first part of it says to calculate um, the number of moles of iodine in 25 centimeter cubed portions. Now, I divide this up into two parts. Firstly, I figure out how many moles of iodine there is. And then secondly, I figure out how many moles are there in 25 mil portions. Okay, so what are our formulas? There isn't too many. So we write down our number of moles equals your mass over the MOR, that being the most common one. So if you try that out there for us, you'll see that there's 6.35 grams of iodine, because you're told that over here, and iodine is I2, and I2 uh, meaning um, 254. And if you do 6.35 divided by 254, just doing on my calculator there, you're going to get 0 0.025 moles. Now, let's be careful here. We're told that 6.35 grams of iodine was dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed. So therefore our moles is per 500 centimeters cubed. Now we're halfway there. We have the number of moles, but we don't have it in terms of 25 mil portions. So ask yourself this, how many times does um, 25 go into, um, into 500? So you just divide 500 by 25 and you're going to get 40 there um, for your answer. Sorry, you only get 20 for your answer. 20. So I put in 20 times. So we need to find out how much is in each portion. So it's going to become 0 0.025, each portion being 25 mils, divided by 20. And if you do that out correctly, you're going to get 0 0.00125 moles per 25 centimeters cubed. And that's our answer for the first one. So let's continue on um, with the next one. The number of moles of sodium thiosulfate now we're trying to figure out. Okay, required to reduce this quantity of um, iodine. Now, this quantity of iodine meaning the quantity being 25 mils. Okay, so be careful of this. Okay, now we already have the number of moles per um, of your um, iodine. And if we, if we look up here, once soon as we have the number of moles, we can use our ratio over here because we know it's one is to two. So therefore, if I write down my I2 over here, maybe in a different color just to um, highlight things, I2 is to S2 um, O3 2 minus. And I already know from up here that it's going to be one is to two. And that the thiosulfate over here is 0 0.00125. So the one is to two is the ratio, guys. So if it's, um, 0 0.00125 therefore it's going to be when we multiply that by 2 it's going to be your um, 0 0.0025 for your uh, moles per 25 centimeters cubed of your tile sulfate now that was tricky enough lots of students um, mix this one up because they would have gone back to using this formula over here, number of moles is mass over MR, but you would have quickly found out that there is no indication of mass anywhere over here, guys, for it. So you couldn't have used that formula at all. Um, there may have been other formulas, really, but the easiest way is, it's just like it's going to come up in stoichiometry, um, so why not apply it to, um, to your titrations as well? As soon as you have the number of moles, use the ratio over here much much easier uh, and again just to be cute about this that um here is to reduce this quantity of iodine okay so meaning of 25 centimeters cubed portions so just to be cute about that okay so next what have we got now i'll get rid of all of that there just to make way for the next part of us so next part is find out the concentration of sodium thiosulfate in moles per liter so we're looking for the molarity okay and 
we calculate the concentration okay of the sodium thiosulfate solution most um per liter 17.385 grams of centimeters cubed i should say of which were reduced or required okay which were required to reduce 25 centimeters cubed portions now molarity what formulas could we use there guys so we have a couple um you can use your molarity equals um your moles per liter over a thousand sorry I'm going to write it down otherwise um, I'll make a mistake with this. There's two different formulas you could use. You could use your molarity equals your mass per liter over the MOR. So you get your MOR, that's fine. You could have used that formula there. Uh, and can you, can we actually use this? Well, okay, the MOR is fair enough. We'll get that so the sodium thiosulfate. Okay, and do we have it in mass per liter over here? Well, we don't have the mass. Now, you probably could figure it out because we have the number of moles. Um, so that's fine. You probably could have used that and used this formula here. Um, but is there an easier way of using it? Or is there a different formula we could use? Uh, there is. Okay, let's just do out our, um, our key. And again, it's I2 versus your S2O3 2 minus. So we're looking for molarity and... We divide up our to our parts there. So B one equals M one equals N one equals B two equals M two equals N two equals. We we'll look for a molarity of the S two or three. So that's an X. We know over here that there's seventeen point eight five centimeters cubed of this. So seventeen point eight five is the volume, um, which we require to reduce twenty five centimeters cubed of the iodine. So we now know the iodine being twenty five okay great stuff so far um and our ends they're easy enough they're just the ratio so that's like one is to two we know that straight off from the um, equation over here but we now have a teeny bit of a problem here and that's the molarity of the iodine what's that well if we go back to our previous question there and when we were trying to figure out what the molarity was we found out that the molarity of um Oh, sorry, the moles per 500 centimeters cubed of I2. We, f we actually found that f um, figure out. And that was when we did, uh, you know, the 6.35. And we divided that by the um, 254. And you would have got 0 0.025. Okay, is equal moles per liter for that. So all you have to do is go multiply that by 2. And you're going to get it in uh, litres. So it becomes 0 0.05 moles per litre of I2. So 0 0.05 goes here. Grand. Okay. So we're not doing too bad. Um, we have everything now. So we can actually use this formula here nice and handy. And it'll automatically put us into, um, into molarity okay i prefer this one than the other one because the other one you would have to do a few different conversions and look it's fine but the chances of you just getting confused in the exam is um going to be increased so let's just stick with the stuff that uh, makes sense so if you did this one out you would have got the molarity to equal 0 0.14 of 0 0.14 of the s2o3 to minus so the molarity again is moles per liter and um, just as a reminder there so look we have one to part three done we're doing grand now let's do the last part of it we're asked for the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate solution in grams per liter now well this is an easy enough one and it's the same one we come back to all the time and it is mass per liter which is grams per liter that's the that's the units isn't it equals the molarity times the mor and if you do that out, you would have got 0 0.14 times your 248. And again, I have other formulas there, um, not formulas, other, excuse me, um, other videos that explain how to get the MORs of your, um, of your formulas. And if you did that out properly, guys, you would have got 35 grams per liter there of your sodium thiosulfate. So that's it for now, um, for this one here. Um, we're going to be coming up to one shortly enough. Um, that was, I think it was like 2006 or something along those lines. 
of the tire sulfate. Okay guys, look, I hope that helped and um, best of luck with your revision. Hi everybody, so today we're looking at um, 2007's um, sodium disulfate um, titration rink and um, some iodine there. So again, like for the previous um, ones, for the redox titration here, we're just going to look at a matte overview. So what formula and when we're using it as opposed to um, actually doing out the, uh, the entire question, if you know what I mean. So if we're reading it there, again, like I always say, don't read the top half of this here, okay? Ignore all of this for the time being. Go straight to the questions. I find it's much easier. You're going to be way more focused um, than reading all of this because it makes no sense yet. So let's start off. This is 2007, and if we're reading it there, we can see that, um, let me see, A, B, C, and D. Yep, A to D there are no good. We are going to go straight down to E, which is calculating the molarity of the sodium trisulfate and its concentration in grams per litre. Okay, so we're looking for two parts there. And is that all you're asked? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so, formulas for molarity. What do we have? We have our molarity equals your mass per litre over the MOR. Okay, so we can get the MOR of um, Na2S203.5H2O, um, which is, yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful for sure. Um, so that's fine, we could do that. And But do we have the, um, do we have the mass of it? Okay, so let's have a look. If we go back up to the top here, have a read of it there, and even down over here, and check to see, are you given the mass of this um, anywhere? And if you're looking through it there, you're actually you're not given the mass of this anywhere. So we can't use this formula over here. No good. Okay, so we delete that. So what other formulas could we do? Well, we could use this one, perhaps. We do your number of moles equals your molarity times the volume over a thousand. Okay, obviously we want to manipulate that to figure out what the um what the molarity is. So the volume, grand, I'm sure the volume is up here somewhere. Um and let's figure out what the number of moles is. Well, we're not told the number of moles up here at all. If you read through it, I already have just to speed things up a little bit. Um so that's not good. But you are told in terms of um in terms of sorry, you're not told the number of moles. And therefore, you can't figure out this um, this equation here because even if you try to do another formula to figure out the number of moles, you're going to need the mass or something. So um, it's actually it's, it's no good. So let's continue on. So what other formulas could we use? Well, let's try the M one V one and N one formula. And again, all the, oh, I don't know what happened there now. I'm going to undo that very quickly. We. Write out our S two O three two minus, and over here on the right hand side, then we have our I two, and we divide up our three different parts, so it becomes your V one equals M one equals N one equals, and over here we have our V two equals M two equals, and your N two equals. Okay, so what we have, uh, we're looking. For the molarity of the sodium trisulfate. So that's going to be x. We don't know what that is. We have to have everything else now to figure out um, what the answer is. So do we have everything else? Well, if so, what's the volume of the sodium trisulfate and the um and the iodine there? So let's have a read of it there. Go through it here. Make up a solution to 500 centimeters cubed, okay, in a biometric flask. Or we've never ever used 500 mils over here. So I don't see why we want to do that now. So a burette was filled with this solution, that's the, the sodium trisulfate, guys, and it was titrated against 25 centimeter cube portions of previously standardized 0 0.05 molar iodine in a conic flask. Now, we're told two pieces of information there. The first piece, we're told it's, it was titrated against 25 centimeter cubed, so that means the iodine has 25 centimeter cubed of it. And we're told the molarity of the iodine, it was 0 0.05. We write that down too. So we're nearly there. We just need the volume now for sodium trisulfate to have a go. The ti average titration figure was 20 centimeters cubed. So we put a 20 over here. 
that was in the burette. So I had used the metallic flask because it states over here, and obviously then the tile surface is in the um, burette. So next is our n, which is our ratio there. Um, and if we look at it, it's two is to one. So all I do is I put a two over here and a one over here. And when you do that out, you're going to get your molarity, and I write it out here all together, to equal 0 0.125. And that's moles per liter. So we'll write that out there. Now, the last part then is to figure out what is in grams. If you read it there, so just to be careful with that, okay, that there was an and in there somewhere. So the concentration in grams per liter. So if that's the case, there's only one formula we can do for that. That is your mass per liter equals your molarity times the MOR. So your mass per liter equals molarity, we know 0 0.125, and the MOR, I'm just going to tell you, the MOR being 248, and that was tricky enough to get that one, and I have other videos there on how I get the MORs of um, various different um, chemicals. So when you multiply the two together there, you're going to get 31 grams per liter. And that is our answer there for that one there. So we have our two answers there, um, and I hope this helped. Again, all I did there was I asked myself there, what formulas are possible to figure out the molarity? And like it was only three, and they're always the same three, to be honest. And I kind of figured out straight off that the first two were no good, simply because, first off, I couldn't find out the mass of the, um, of the tire sulfate, and secondly, I didn't have, for the second former, I couldn't figure out the number of moles. So that kind of just led to, to this one over here. And if you're unsure, if you're, if you're not sure, all you do is do out this key. I can't stress this enough. That key there is absolutely vital to getting um, full marks in this question. So look guys, I hope that helped. Um, and best of luck with your study. There isn't too many of these questions here um, for this one. So I suppose it is due to come up again. Um, shortly enough.